Let's get this over with. Uh, this. Really? Yeah. This is gonna hurt. First shot on her boobs. Cool. Clever. Cool. Cool. I understand. What boobs? What? Yeah. What? <laughs> She's not even in the shirt yet. Yeah. Mine is clever. I understand. Cool. 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 Normally, origin stories are about tall, handsome guys struggling with the burden of being handed even more power. I'm out. What? what? This Never mind, I quit. The greatest team of spooky mystery solvers ever. Dinkley Jones, wow. the infamous Indian name. It took her 10 seconds to insult the white guy, so here we go. <laughs> We're gonna have a great time today. It's Mindy Kaling herself. Oh, two Mindy Kaling. <laughs> Get it, baby. Why is she dressed like a watermelon? <laughs> Mindy Kaling. I'm gonna... <laughs> Mindy Kaling. <laughs> Please cut that. And in today's overcrowded market, you need a hook. Um, the only hook a good show ever needs is good storytelling. Hey guys, if I lampshade enough lampshades, do you think this will make funny? Maybe, maybe more. Put shots would make it funnier. I don't know. Maybe just, whatever. Yeah, show more ass. I just realized we're watching an actual shower argument. <laughs> what is the Velma what, show? What? Start? What the fuck? Now is I guess. This? And how do you feel about race blind casting, Daphne? Well, as an Asian woman, you don't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I, there's a new dimension to this. I don't appreciate this. I mean, not to oversimplify a thorny issue, but everyone loves it when white people play Jesus. Oh my God! Stop! Oh. A bitch, Velma? What the hell? You almost killed me. Get you acting, Daphne? Are we really starting with a murder committed by the main character? See, now if this was a show, it'd be super hot if you two kissed. Wait, that, was that the joke? The so we're just going go to ignore that Velma tried to commit murder three seconds ago? Like, what is going on? Nothing makes any fucking sense. Oh, hey, it's one of the writers. We're we're 25 minutes into this episode, right? No, this we're 25 seconds. Oh. Belma just tried to commit murder. We're just going <laughs> to ignore that? I love when establishing shots are all the exact same slow zoom under the building. Uh, God's not real if you two morons are running this investigation. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. She's trying to be Daria, isn't she? You know what? We're done here. Peace. Oh, hey, look, fatherless behavior. We got, yes, what the yes, hell? Yes, 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 give him a reason, give him a reason. Do it. Now sit. They were oh, waiting for an excuse. The black detective, she has two tone-colored hands. That's very important for some reason. Twitter well, tells yes, me that you can't draw black people unless you give them two-tone hands. Yay, It's, it's good. meant to symbolize the duality of woman. Clearly someone's trying to frame me. Because of your handsome face? My face. <laughs> <laughs> no, because <laughs> And yet you and Daphne used to be best friends, isn't that right? Yeah, back when we were actual characters. I could kill them all. Okay, I see how this looks bad. Who would win in a fight, Mandy or Velma? Mandy. They're completely matched in weight class. Mandy would because of her gigantic alien fat folds would just it's suffocate Velma to death. It's an unfuckable force versus an unscrewable object. <laughs> I don't solve mysteries, not anymore. Stop Slap putting lampshades on shit. It was Slap about her. to get funny. Oh, if, they, if only they'd held on that joke for five more seconds. It would have been hilarious. Yes, it would have. Lampshades on top of lampshades on top of lampshades on top of lampshades. You guys see the classic Scooby-Doo villains on the wall? I recognize them. Hey, Fred. Do I know you? It's Velma from school. You cheat off me in Spanish because you think I'm Mexican. You're not? Disease where I can't recognize people who aren't hot. My doctor says it's basically sickle cell for rich guys. Is it oh, for God's sake. Anyway, have you seen Daphne? She texted. Oh, Fred, thank God you're here. Oh, Brendan. What? She was like waiting for the scene to start. <laughs> Did you see that? that she was. was. Mm. I thought it was going to pan down to her getting a boner. I would have made a much better show. And just FYI, I didn't kill Brenda. <laughs> How are you going to prove that, Velma? Oh no, my psychosis. Solve mysteries and Brad must live. Not real. You're not real. When did you ever solve mysteries to begin with? Seriously, who is this weirdo? Did your mom's like adopt another kid? <laughs> You've had a long day? I was accused of a murder I didn't commit. Why are you Indian with a white last name? Velma, I love you. No, no, you don't. People only think you murdered Brenda because you were voted most revengey in the school yearbook. I know. No, it's because you are a hate full psychotic shrew that tried to actually commit murder previously. I'm also hashtag the owner of Spoon. Die. Oh, 
<laughs> Please. <laughs> That's just me. I'm getting that whole, like, make me dead thing. Where is the humor? This was supposed to be a comedy, right? This is moving at a breakneck speed, but they're not, like, making jokes. A lot they're just fast. spelling out what's... What in the fuck? The wouldn't it be what? funny if we made a joke like this? Isn't it lame that we just made a joke like that? Isn't it lame how lame things are lame? Let me point it out for you really, really loudly. Maybe you'll understand better. I'm just you recognize numb. this thing I... from other popular things? I'm just numb, I because I just don't know what the hell is going on. It's just I, 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 like legit, like I'm overloaded. Like everything about this should be making me furious, but like it's happening so fast and non-committally that I just kind of don't give a shit. All we're hearing here is the writer's mindless, countless issues. The only reason people give a shit about Velma now is because, like, ten years ago, people said it was okay to say that Velma was hot. And now, all of a sudden, the joke is that Thanks. Velma's ugly because Mindy Kaling is her. Like, don't, well, see, don't step it back just because you're insecure, you fucking cockroach. <laughs> exactly. Once again, no one hates women more than other women. You creepy, lecherous thing trying to suck every dick and vagina you come across. You're scary. Oh, look, they're coming to their queen. <laughs> you're not real. You're not real. You're not real. I swear to God, if this is Shaggy's introduction behind the mother... It's Shaggy's introduction. Real, a real man, father! Never mind. <laughs> see, my mother wrote mysteries. You see, my mother was an actually likable character. Looks like the teacher from Recess, if they made it now. That night, the police found my mom's car abandoned and empty, except for her glasses and a single wrapped gift for me. So you only wear those glasses because so your mother wore them? You fucking bad. freak? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have a I went problem? blind. <laughs> yeah, wait, is that, that'll show white people. <laughs> Why did you have to go and solve your own mystery? You used to be white, Belma. I almost <laughs> like this Fred design. Not in this art style, this but like happened. it's something. They're not even writing dialogue. They're just writing instructions. Because everyone on the show is smart, right? Everyone knows they've seen these videos before. Incredibly smart. Oh no. There you are. Ah uh, shit, here we go. You didn't answer my VMs, voicemails. And then my dad heard me call you the B word, so I lost my phone for 24 hours. But I had to find you because I still don't know if you listen to my VMs, voicemails. Oh, thank God. I was worried Norville wouldn't be funny. His hair looks like a hand inside a black globe. Think I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> he looks like a younger version of that main character from Validate. You know the one. Oh God, he does. <laughs> How could I forget? Velma date. Yeah. <laughs> Before he like, starts smoking weed and banging thoughts. Like spread those cheeks for the like, um, The kids come here for the folksy wisdom. But Sophie has no wisdom. Just a lot of hey, They're doing that thing when they're just telling me what's happening instead of actually writing any dialogue worth a damn. This is the second video in a row I've done with you where just two uninterested niggas talk in a car for 35 minutes. God damn it. He looks like a black Muppet. Yes. I thought you were like suggesting a date. A date? You wish. What? <laughs> we get it, you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Holy mother of God. Yes, it's true. I'm a cam whore. <laughs> it's part of her OnlyFans. I'm still sub to tier three. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. That's that animation. Cool. No, yeah. That was actually cool. It's wasted on this shit though. <laughs> Velma, what is this? Did you eat all the gummy vitamins again? These are just joke, like, they, they, they like, uh, that's a Reddit joke. Someone made a full-on joke about, oh, I ate too many vitamin gummies, but they just referenced that, like, make a joke. No, the joke is the reference, and the reference is the reference. It's nothing but references all the way down, Jack, I'm sorry. It's, not, it's, it's, like, it's a reference to a joke. Stop making the joke. No. It means she didn't love us, which is insane. Sure, you were a huge jerk, Dad, but I was... Of course you were, Dad, because you're male. <laughs> you were literally the worst daughter anyone could ever have. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, God. Mom wasn't taken. I was a piece of shit. And you can start changing your personality to fit in and avoid prison. Woohoo! What? What? No. What? Time to stop feeling guilty and move on. Entire character arc sold in five minutes. Very impressive. That's a season of TV. Wait, what's happening? Mindy uh, Kelly needs to learn the word pacing. Oh, she's average. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> because I'm just a normal, well-adjusted teen now, like all of you. She is. My opinion's changed. This show makes more sense if you pretend that's the actual Mindy Kaling pretending to be a high schooler. I like her <laughs> Every day for Mindy Cow. Holy shit, <laughs> going for it. Megan! 
<laughs> Damn! What on the fuck? I learned this is not a creature capable of murder. Nay, it is just a scared little boy who wants our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny. <laughs> oh, Fred Fred Rooley really is the best part of this show so far, isn't he? Glenn Howerton is legitimately funny, and now he's slumming it on the Velma show. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Okay, that's fine. That was slightly amusing. That was a drawn together joke. No, it wasn't. Shut up. <laughs> Why is the garbage can underneath the air dryer? Well, if you want my boyfriend, you can have him. You think I want Fred? I mean, sure, if someone was like, want to see a naked picture of Fred, I'd be like, hubba hubba. But I'd say that about anyone. LeBron, Helen. LeBron? LeBron, LeBron? yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Cartoon of Elmo watching Space Jam 2. Hallelujah. It's all on HBO Max. Look at all the things that we own. Look at them. Oh, right. I forgot about that. You are one handsome motherfucker. <laughs> you handled the decision to go to Miami perfectly. Your hairline is perfect. Anyone who says otherwise is just jealous. Gosh, that's strange. Why would Fred kill Brenda just because she photographed him in the bathroom? Why wouldn't he? If I were a rich white dude, I'd kill everybody just to get away with it. But what Aha, white people bad. Struggling to find out how they're gonna pay this off because like is is the joke that she's not upset that she drove her mom away Assuming that was real. I don't <laughs> the joke is that there is no jokes The joke is that you're going to sit here and listen to the writer air every single one of her personal grievances No, did, while the whole did she roll it? Did she just accept that she like mutilated her mom? But, like, yeah. Oh, yeah kind of Like they didn't make the joke. They didn't point that out. Hang on a second. The writers just got a second to have like a bit of freedom It's a Photoshop filter. I don't give a shit. This isn't interesting. Don't give them credit for morphing some shit. Stop! You can't die! Why? I'm weird and no one likes me! That's no, you're allergic. a bitch and no one likes you. <laughs> exactly. I like you. Like, like, like you. <laughs> you pussy ass bitch. Wait, what? No, you don't. Belma, I am simping as hard as humanly possible. I wasn't joking. Your face is why I get up in the morning. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Wow, this is just kind of tragic in context. You're the main character in all my dreams. <laughs> Despite me being six foot tall and black, I only want a dopey Indian chick. <laughs> that is the only thing. My standards are this low. <laughs> like I've got a white penis. <laughs> Despite the fact that my skin is dark, I am unable to digest spices. <laughs> Brenda also photographed this. <gasps> Wait, your secret is you're hairless? Uh, What's wrong with beautifully smooth legs? How else are my features so boyishly delicate? But father says if people know, they'll laugh. I was genetically engineered to be a K-pop star, Belma. But the Western genes won out and I turned blonde. He looks more Asian than Daphne. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> you're not terrible cops after all. They assumed you were- Yes, we are. We just shot a man for no reason. He will never walk again. Of a boss to kill someone. I'd laugh, Fred, if I wasn't standing next to this secret comedian over here. I'd Man, laugh if I wasn't watching this show. I'd laugh if I was dead right now. Of okay. course, she doesn't find humor attractive. She doesn't know what humor is. <laughs> By the way, there has not been a single instance of dialogue in this entire episode. It's just characters describing themselves. It really Remember is that? It's like a Reddit recap of the show. <laughs> Remember that guy from Futurama? You can't just have the characters tell you how they feel. This entire episode is just that and taken extremely seriously. Yeah. Her brother is ah, not taken seriously though. Things just happen. Oh god, Krista! And she also has no brain! Hey, we found the second writer. End of the episode. Oh, wow. That's done. Yeah, there we go. What? The end. Okay. Robert, it's Get over. Out. Uh, yep, the right? show can't wait to be done with itself. Jesus, even the credits are going as fast as they can. Right? Oh, what is this background? This is like I don't fun. know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's meant to be blood splatters. <laughs> we we killed the Noompa Loompa. I don't. I I don't know what's. I. What just happened? I regret. I regret heartily. I didn't have time to actually think of a joke. I just got bombarded with dialogue at the speed of sound. There is no time to, to think. The there is no humor. There is just speed. Yeah, it's just talking. Just a bunch of talking. The 25 minutes really just passes by. It felt like 10 seconds. Yeah. It felt like 100,000 hours. They were, going, they, were, they were plowing through stuff, but it was nothing. 100,000 things happened in that episode, but three things happened in that episode. It's fucking endgame all over again. None of it matters, surprisingly. Also, notice how we are doing that very, very classical thing where we are supposed to hate Fred because he's the stupid, dumb, white male. 
but the writing itself has unintentionally made him the most amusing character in the entire show. How do they yeah. keep doing that? Plus, he's voiced by famous, a reputable uh, comedy actor, so... Uh, oh, well, yeah. that explains it. Far and away, <laughs> as opposed to this yeah. other cast of literally who's... Oh, no, I'm sorry, well, yeah. they got Walter Sykes and Jane Lynch to voice lesbian detectives. That's progressive, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, the two famous comedian lesbians are the two lesbians in the television program. They even match he's their skin. Isn't that we clever? Think? This is all it takes to make everything fine. If only we do this <laughs> for every show, you will never have a problem again. And if anyone has a problem with it or asks why, kill them. Or they are racist or, or sexist or something you. with the word ist at the end. Wait, wait, wait. Like, they didn't cast Jane Lynch and Wanda Sykes because they're funny, because they're Jane Lynch and Wanda Sykes. They cast them because they eat muff and they needed lesbian detectives and those are names you know. This is I not am... art. No, I don't no, hate this is... for any, like, phobic reason, anything, whatever. I hate this <laughs> anti art and I hate you because you're defending it. <laughs> This is making me phobic. I'm developing no, a terrible I, fear of no, crappily no, written shows. I've seen now what I have to become to stop men like him. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what I happened during the, the episode? I forgot. Uh... <laughs> no, seriously. Someone tell me what actually happened during the episode. Uh, because okay, the only thing okay, I remember okay. is that Belma tried to commit murder 20 seconds in and no one has said anything about it yet. <laughs> Are we really just gonna let that lay there and just rot like a fetid corpse? No, no, she was cleared because she showed some cleavage, and then uh, <laughs> she found a fucking body in front of her house, and now she's probably a suspect again. I guess. God damn it! I guess the opening shower thing was supposed to be a carry riff, right? Like that's the whatever on it, but it was it a was it an homage? Because it didn't make sense, and you sure did lovingly draw all those naked. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like it's like the cuties thing. We're criticizing it, but we're gonna do it anyway because you know we're still whores. Yeah. <laughs> Are they criticizing it though? Again, like that's the thing. We're a, we're like assigning intention to this when like dipshit doesn't have that power. Like she's just saying things and then moving on. She's I mean, I don't. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say they adequately. Heard on Twitter. I didn't say they adequately criticize it. I just said they criticize. They're not criticizing it though. It's just there. That's the thing. That's my problem. <laughs> She's essentially walking up on the front of the screen and telling you bad things are bad, and I'm going to tell you why the things are bad. No, and the entire they episode don't is tell just that. Why? No, first, <laughs> baby, you're not getting me. That, she's, she's what they do. What this show is, it's referencing problems that people in real life have by name only. It's lip yeah. service to problems you have. It's reminding you, like, yeah, I do have issues with white people. And then it goes away. It doesn't tell you, like, you're correct in that. It's just saying it. It's reminding you that you're upset. And then it goes. Yeah, and half the problems they list aren't really even problems. But they're just <laughs> fun, poppy things on Twitter that make no sense. That is the right description. This entire episode was nothing but Twitter screen caps. This was, this was the occasional dialogue between a Twitter algorithm. This is not anything. Is that centering an entire show around Twitter fans? You're telling me that's not a recipe for success? Surely. <laughs> <laughs> Literally no one likes this, which is almost uh, heartening. But at the same time, like, great, this is what we agree on. This is what we agree is shit, Velma. Awesome. Re really great base to start on. Let's build from here now. I am so happy Scooby's not on this show. He truly was spared being dragged yeah. into this direct. I am looking at a picture of Scrappy Doo tenderly and now going, perhaps I did treat you too harsh. <laughs> if, they, if they really, they missed a trick because Twitter's all about white girls fucking dogs now. So if, if, yeah. if they can't release this show now. I'm so surprised you know that's they didn't get away with taken. that. Oh, definitely. So glad I didn't stream this because I just would have been sitting there like, what? What? Right? What? There's no, yeah. I, I can't even he make a joke exactly. about this shit. <laughs> Exactly. This is different. Jay, I think we got it. This needs something more. I don't think this is like a just a night niggas of color kind of like <laughs> Ricky thingy. How do you make a genuinely smart character look unimpressive? Yeah, <laughs> she's, she's just a, a pile of goo. She's just. <laughs> That's it. Wait, like, wait a minute. Like wait a minute. Own, like mental problems. Like this. Wait is a what second. Think now? back real quick. Think back at the the, the the fast forward speed marathon we just went through. 
did Velma actually do anything smart in the entire episode? Do you think that any of her actions could be in any way, shape, or form classified as intelligent? No, no she just she, fell she, into everything she, yeah, and got saved just, by people. Just she was a damsel this whole episode. Just coincidentally came across discoveries. Like She just, fell into solutions and then got saved by other people appearing at the last second. Damsel. Yep. She made two deductions in the entire episode. They were both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens hey, when you hire that. women... You're, in Hollywood. Like, bro, for real, Jay, like you're a you're a black woman. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I mean it's just like um when I say that, like I'm joking, but I'm also not joking. Because it's like the, 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 like, the, the, like, the, like the women in that environment are not good for creating shit. They that's, really that's aren't. It it's so true. It's okay to admit when people are talented. <laughs> It's so okay. Previously on Velma. I've already forgotten. Nothing. <laughs> Previously on Velma. Nothing. My guilt triggers a potentially heart-stopping hallucination. Shit, I like this track. I'm weak for synths. Innocent. Another After Effects template. What is this? <laughs> Dorkly. It's Velma Dorkly. I mean, Dinkly. She's not funny. She really that was, isn't. Like, Mindy Kaling cannot deliver lines well, and that's why that joke fell flat. I hate this like half-ass venture bros look they're going for mm -hmm. like none of the charm just like the idea of it i hate it i know you think i'm a huge bitch who ditched you to be cool what that's so not true fuck you that, that's this whole video it's just it's going fuck you every three minutes no. I need because i basically confessed and have well documented anger issues i mean what does that even mean hey it's supposed to be a tablecloth it's a skin of negroes <laughs> Why didn't they go all the way? Fuck it. If you're going to do the thing, do it right. Have them actually yeah. spinning. Make it a part fight in this house. I don't give a shit. Admitting he's a little boy is worse than any crime. It's How did they get Frank Welker in this, man? That's legit upsetting. Anyone will take a check, I guess. <laughs> no, Frank Welker's better than that. They bullied him. There's the only explanation. <laughs> so, Velma, what brings you to Casa del Norville? Oh, look, it's Shaggy. <laughs> For a Raj ring, as we might say. I'm already angry at this scene. So Norville's just a mulatto? Why doesn't he look like one? They just made him a black guy. I know that's racist, but they just made him a black guy. Why aren't the Hex Girls in this show? You're trying to make Riverdale, you don't have the Hex Girls in it? They would, that, would, that would make sense. Do you want to fill up this cast with actual characters, please? Like, don't, don't give them ideas. <laughs> Why not? Because as soon as, the, as, soon as they introduce the characters, idea. they're going to ruin them. Jay, if I give them one idea, they'll die from exposure. I'm gonna give them a bunch. In <laughs> teen movies, whenever a girl needs money, a guy sells something and then blackmails the girl into dating him for it. Problematic, but effective and hilarious. I wanna hit everyone in the show with a hammer. You're the candy man? Candy woman. Woman of candy, thank you very much. <laughs> Why would you deal drugs? You're beautiful and popular. Being a bad girl, too, just muddles your brand. This See, okay, if she had said, why do you smuggle drugs? You're Asian. That would have gotten them in trouble, wouldn't it? Yeah. Double standard. I hate you, show. Do you have to live on a lake in Missouri? Those are all white people, Daphne. <laughs> Minorities on TV can only deal drugs to escape poverty. Oh, my God. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> white girl with too much money. <coughs> white girl with too much money. Jay. That, oh, zing. Got her ass. <laughs> the thing is, they could easily come back with a zinger against her, and they just don't. <laughs> That's what kills me about this. The re they don't make Indian stereotype jokes because clearly Mindy Cowling believes all of them because she's deeply insecure, so she can't, she can't possibly allow them to air. I'm sorry, Velma. I could feel you forcing that. Yeah? You know what else feels forced? Your belief that you're the only one sleeping with the lead. <laughs> what? These are half jokes. Ugh. Like, they're not reacting to them correctly. This is not, like, they don't know how to make comedy. It's just Mindy uh, Callen venting a in a show. Hello, friends. My name is... Oh, Jesus Dad. Christ. <laughs> These are half of the boys that the homosexuals on my timeline retweet. He's a femboy. <laughs> it's Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> oh, God. He looks like Hitler! And not just because we compare everyone to Hitler these days. Uh, yeah, that's not, there. that's no, that's not introspection. That's not making a joke out of it. Where do I come from? And how is my hair the color of buffalo wings? I just always figured your parents are Wilma Flintstone and Daniel Day Kim. 
You know what would have been a better joke is why was I race swapped to a fucking redhead when I'm Asian? They sure did bring out a lot to justify race swap Daphne, huh? I'm, I'm begging you to stop this. I've been ignoring this show and looking up the production history. Uh, do you know there are four production companies behind this show? Four? Four production companies. Warner Brothers Animation, which is a given. And then uh, Three Arts Entertainment, who have their fingers in, like, everything. Like, they, every show ever they've been a part of. The other two, though. First up, Charlie Grandy Productions. Charlie Grandy is an American stand-up comedian who worked on The Office, The Mindy Project, and Velma. Oh, and Saturday Night Live. So yeah. this is 100% all Mindy Kaling. This is her people working on this show. This is her like a ability. The fourth production company is called Kaling International. I have a theory about who runs that one. Mindy Kaling spun her shitty role on The Office into having two production companies that she basically controls, <laughs> funding her Velma vanity project. The real question is, why were you wearing a beanie? Those are only for television actors who want you to know that their roots are still in theory. Not everything is funny! Stop it! Fine <laughs> drugs. Who's the poor writer who's like, the, he's wearing a beanie? Make a joke about a beanie. It's not surprising people who wrote for SNL wrote for this. Like, everything sounds like a bad SNL joke. Right? I guess so. They do, because they they have, like, five minutes to address a current thing. Cuddies. Was Fred ever the rich? Daphne was the rich one. Why did they swap Fred and Daphne? Uh, cause okay. white guy. <laughs> That's about it. I would like to call the woman who caught Fred my own daughter, Velma Dinkley. Isn't that like a conflict of interest? But heavily. Oh. This whole this whole case is now bunk. Congratulations, <laughs> we did it. Mistrial. Alrighty. <laughs> Better call Saul. <laughs> Big boy! A big boy who could have removed those dumb girls' brains no problem if I wanted to. Guilty. Based on what? <sighs> this is worse law writing than She-Hulk. Yeah. Wow, blonde-haired people have bad days too. <sighs> oh my god. What? Do you not have potentially fatal hallucinations when you try to solve mysteries anymore? Oh right, the one interesting part of the show, we forgot all about it. Mm. Mm. Ah, stop. Like, uh, why are they making uh, noises? The moaning. Why, why the moaning? Why are they making noises like they're eating a Subway sandwich? God, stop. That's, ah. Beef curtains. <laughs> <laughs> All right, episode over. It's the end now. Oh, We're yeah. Now. Uh, yeah. Shaggy gets cucked. Shaggy gets cucked because, of course, he does. Because why not? Because that, that's what they're for now. Oh, wait. It's the after credit scene. <laughs> My name's Fred. Who are you? They call me the thief. What are you in for? Thieving. But I'm innocent. Aren't we all? Ooh, bunk beds! Hoisties! That was worth it. Wow. Uh, it didn't get better. <sighs> yeah, it's the same level of bullshit. Rats, I could have sworn. Actually, it was it was less now. Because fucking the hallucinations weren't part of it. Those were the only interesting things. <sighs> oh, good. Uh, I don't like Scooby-Doo anymore. <laughs> I used to like Scooby-Doo. Now I can't like Scooby-Doo. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> I can't believe James Gunn allowed this to happen. He has influence at Warner Brothers now. I read that article from Polygon about this show. And it was like, oh, uh, James Gunn's failed attempt to bring in Velma's queer identity or some poor shit. Are you criticizing him for not making this children's movie full of lesbian porn? <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, we should have had these two teenage girls making out loudly. Like they're eating a Subway sandwich. Wah, wah, mm, mm, wah, mm. Wah, wah, what kind of kiss acting was that? Because I guess I guess kissing Mindy Kaling would be an awful lot like eating a sandwich that's slightly too big. <laughs> There's no it point wasn't even watching the whole season because it's just. I gotta like... be. Yeah, no, I was hoping for. I, I really. I never. I never give these things the chance to be like. Maybe this will be worth the hate watch, but mm, nah, dude. I felt the same way watching uh, that National Treasure show. It's like, damn, there's just nothing here. Yeah, that came out pretty quick, too. <laughs> but I figured that would, because, like, that's no one actually gives a shit about National Treasure. I like the movies fine, but don't pretend. Like, no one's a diehard National Treasure fan. People only like it because of Nicolas Cage. Jesus. I can't believe this is the stupidest Scooby-Doo show when every other Scooby-Doo show is for babies. I, I remember watching Scooby-Doo. I was wee. I was five. I was adorable. I had hope then. And I'd watch the Scooby-Doo's and I'd be like, that guy did it! And then the episode would end and that guy would have done it and I'd be like, yeah! 
Like, I don't even get that. Like, there's no, like, cursory baby, I'm smart shit to get from Velma. Oh my god, there is. Oh my god, this is the adult version of that. This is the millennial version of pointing out which of the obvious villains is the villains in a Scooby-Doo episode. They but point it, to a show, see a white guy, and go, he's bad! <laughs> but it's only for Mindy Kaling to figure out, though. <laughs> for her. <laughs> no one else. No one else gives a shit. Have you guys heard of white people? <laughs> They're the reason I'm not more successful. Even though they've probably enhanced every single facet of my fucking career. Even the they created <laughs> Scooby fucking do. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they created the office. Even though they like <laughs> Jesus, man. Get some fucking self awareness. Yeah, really. Fuck you, Kelly. Oh god. <laughs> That's stiff in my joints. <laughs> Oh, I got the fluids from this ship. <laughs> My joints feel like they do when there's a storm coming in. Ah, there's a Velma coming in. There's a whole shitty 10-episode front to come out on. I gotta go. I need to stop thinking about this show. <laughs> <laughs>